Hopefully this will be a quick one. I just want to give the headlights a little bit of love. The car's due for an MOT. I feel like with them in the condition that they're in at the moment, I'll just show you up close. There's a good chance that that certainly could fail an MOT. I don't know if you can pick up on the cloudiness on that. That one's not too bad, but I think it would benefit from a bit of a buff. I've done this on plenty of cars before. Hopefully you enjoy watching this. It should be a pretty quick job. We'll see. So let's do this. So first job I need to do, this headlight in particular, so in the mornings it fills with condensation, which obviously means that the unit itself is not sealed properly. So I'm going to take a look at that. What I suspect it is, is uh, so the cover is missing. The access cover is missing from this wheel well. The unit itself has probably got damaged somehow and the seal is knackered. So I'm just going to see if I can take a closer look at that, get the seal sorted and repaired somehow. And I've got a replacement cover for the wheel arch as well. So that's my first job. Enjoy. So as you can hopefully see, like I was saying, this access panel is missing. I do have a replacement, but look at the state of the back of that headlight. That's obviously the reason that, you know, the seal's broken. It's just taken an absolute battery. If you lose these, for that reason, it's pretty important to make sure you replace it. For now, I'm just gonna clean that up. Hopefully I'll just be able to clean up the seal, maybe apply some Vaseline or something like that, and then that'll just fix the seal for me. So we'll see. and there's actually a pool of water in the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that, but the seal looks pretty battered. Probably all right, I'm gonna clean it up, try and get as much moisture out of it as I can, clean it up as much as possible, and then I'll get on to buffing the headlights. So you can actually see the condensation right in there. I've just noticed something crazy. When I started the hoover and started blowing air into it, I realized I can just about see through there. Hopefully you can pick that up on the camera, but in the bottom of there, there's a huge puddle of water. So it's no wonder there's still condensation in there. I wonder if I can sort of pump it out or something, because that is loads. So I've got this pump that I use normally for doing gearbox oil changes, but it'll do just, a, just the same job. It's got a bit of oil dregs in the bottom of it, but if I can just get it down there into that puddle, it's really difficult to get on camera, so you'll have to bear with me, but I can see there's like quite a clear pool of water. All the water that that's pumping out. I can't believe how much there is. So I'm going to pump out as much as I can. Hopefully the heat torch will do the rest. Right, that's got loads of water out. There was literally a pool right in the bottom of it and that little pump has got most of it out. So now I think hopefully if I use my heat torch on it and a hoover for a bit just to kind of extract the moisture whilst it's evaporating, hopefully I'll just do that for five minutes and that'll be just the job. Some time later. So I've left that in there for quite a while now. I can see the bottom of the headlight, there's no moisture in there anymore. Right in that back corner, I can see a tiny, tiny little bit of a drip. So it's a nice dry, clear day today. I'm just gonna leave it open for half an hour and I think that should let it evaporate. There's no more condensation on the lens. So I can't believe I've only just noticed this. Black lining in there and silver lining in there. I've just had a bit of a read about it. Apparently the silver is the OEM spec on a three litre and the black is off either a two, 2.2 or 2.5 litre. Now that I've noticed, I can't leave it like that. I'm gonna have to uh, find a replacement for that, but I'll buff it up anyway, get it looking a bit better. To remove the headlight, I have to remove the bumper. So while I'm removing the bumper, I might as well get all this fixed. Every job is a can of worms, but what can you do? So come give me a 
got one of these kits. This one's by E-Tech, but loads of people make them and they're all pretty much the same. This came with a drill attachment, a load of different grades of sandpaper from 500 up to 2000, I think. Yeah, there we go. And a couple of polishing mops as well and a bottle of polish. Basically, you just you start with the low grit sandpaper, wet the headlight, wet sand it. The reason that I've masked it off so much is because I've also got some of this stuff, restored headlight clear coat, which is basically UV protective lacquer. Apparently, if you don't use this, uh, you can polish them and buff them and they'll come up looking really nice, but they won't last long at all and they'll just go cloudy again really quickly. So this stuff actually, actually works. I've used it on a few different cars and it's, it's done a really nice job. So I've just got a squirty bottle of clean water uh, I'm just gonna keep them nice and wet while I'm sanding them. Work my way up through the grade to sandpaper, and then once I'm happy, I'm gonna move to the lamb's wool mop with a bit of restoration compound, and then I'm gonna move to this mop just to finish it off. And it should make a big difference to how this looks. So you can see that's come up really nice. It does still need the uh, the lacquer spray on top of it and a bit of a good clean up, get all this excess polish residue off it. But see how nice that comes up after a good polish. It's a lovely job. It wasn't too bad before, so I only started with, uh, I think I started with the 1200 grit sandpaper uh, and just work my way up. You've just got to be really methodical, work your way across backwards and forwards. Make sure you don't spend too long in one place or else you run the risk of burning the lens. But yeah, I'm happy with that, so on to the next one, which looks pretty bad. We'll see how good we can get this. This one I'll probably start with a slightly lower grit sandpaper to start with, just to see if I can get this cloudiness off it, because I can actually feel that. Let's give it a go. So I know I've only just put the lacquer on and it's, you know, still wet, but what a difference. Obviously the wind's picked up, perfect. Um, of course it has, but I've got a little, little imperfection, a little bit dropped out of the nozzle onto the headlight, but other than that, I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than it was. It really shows now that I've got two different types of headlights. You couldn't really see before because they were both pretty cloudy, but yeah, now it looks a bit stupid. I'm gonna have to get that sorted. I can't live with that. I'll try and get another one of these for this side because that's how we end. That is not. So that's good. I'm pleased I've got that done. I'm gonna get the rear cover back onto there. And now that I've got all that moisture out of there, hopefully I'm not gonna wake up in the morning to a load of condensation in that headlight, but we'll see. So I'll see you tomorrow. So it's morning. I'm gonna take a look at these headlights and see how they're looking. So. Annoyingly, I've still got a bit of condensation in there. 
but you can see the lens has come up really nice from that polish it's worlds apart from what it was it's annoying about the condensation but this one's obviously fine in fact that that looks brand new now that's come up really nicely this will be an OEM headlight this one has been replaced at some point and somebody's just chucked a black one in there now that I've cleaned them up they look pretty dumb it'll pass an MOT for those of you in like the US or not in the UK an MOT is just a, an annual test that we need to do with our cars just to make sure that they're roadworthy now that I think will pass an MOT the condensation isn't as bad the fact that that is black I've decided that I'm going to change it I'm going to find a replacement just so that I've got two of the same headlight because now that it's all polished up it's it's a lot more noticeable that doesn't sit right with me I can't leave that like that so I'm actually going to take this headlight out find a replacement to take the headlight out I need to take the bumper off yada 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 and once it's out I'll give it a really good service inside make sure I get all of the moisture out and I'll fix that seal on the back and I will probably sell it new ones are expensive so hopefully I can recoup a little bit of money off this but for now, I'm gonna leave this video where it is just because I think I've shown you the process. You can see what's possible just with one of these headlight restoration kits. It makes a huge difference. I, I can't stand cloudy headlights. I've done this to quite a few cars now and it, it, it just makes such a difference. But given the fact that I'm gonna to have to take the headlight out anyway, I'm not gonna bother fixing the condensation entirely while it's still in the car. I'll do that when it's out of the car and get it moved on. If anybody's got the right headlight, passenger side, pre-facelift, headlight with the silver innards please let me know because i want it given the fact that i've got to take it out that means i've got to take the bumper off while i've got the bumper off i might as well fix all of this stuff but for now i'm just trying to get this car ready for its mot so thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this and you want to see more content like this and i'll see you in the next one